The 11th annual observances of Satguru Sivaya Subramunya Swami's Maha Samadhi were held in early November with some 35 pilgrims flying in to join. Pilgrims attended pujas and classes with Bodhinata and the Swamis and performed sadhanas around the monastery gardens. Other activities included planting two special trees in Gurudeva's honor and a grand parade taking his stone sandals from Kadavul Temple on a palanquin out to Iraivan Temple, where Arati was done, then to the Swayambhu Lingam for a homa at which all our pilgrims took turns offering rice. Sri Naganadan Kumar Gurukal conducted the homas and the final Abhishekam to Gurudeva's sandals. Devotees mentioned that during this puja, Gurudeva's presence was tangible and powerful, some even seeing him standing in the temple. Some of the visiting pilgrim devotees stayed on to attend the annual Skanda Shashti festival. This six-day festival honors his receiving the veil, his lance of spiritual illumination, jnana shakti, and culminates in a dramatic victory celebration of spiritual light over asuric darkness. In Bengaluru, work continues on the Nandi Mandapam, the beautiful shrine to Nandi, the bull who sits in front of the entrance to the Iraivan temple. Work began on the ornamentation of the underside of the roof stone. Ornamental carving is also being done on the fancy pot which collects the water from Nandi Abhishekam and four stone chains which will hang from the ceiling. At the end of Navaratri celebrations, the Shilpis gathered for Ayudha Puja, an important event for stone workers and artisans in general. Special prayers are done on this day to seek the blessings of the goddess on tools, machinery, and vehicles. It is also a joyous day for the Shilpis because they receive their dakshina, or bonus, and a set of new clothing as gifts. During the ceremony, an arati was offered to the huge gang saw which had just cut the first stone for the perimeter wall. <laughs> 